Welcome to the new studio. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Steve, what do you think? You came in and you built all this. I did, and I was. It was fun to build this, man. I mean, the old studio was good to us, but let's uh, let's move on and enjoy this new one. Big big shout out to Kristen Bodyface. That's her official name for coming in and helping paint and kind of get the studio to where it is. We could not have done it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I, so far, I'm loving it. Um, the wall, the lights, and everything. We got more ideas to do some things in the future. So let us know below what do you think. If you like the new studio, the new backdrop, all that kind of stuff. In our face mask recoding, we use ovens. With those ovens, we need gas. So we had to get, call in a plumber who was a really good guy. Steve, this is a guy that you've known, right? Yeah, well, he's a good guy. His name's Steve, man. So Steve Hitt came by with his crew, and they set us up, and it was fantastic. We got to talk, and He's like, what do you guys do? We kind of told him. He's a big Raiders fan, and he showed us his man cave. He's le he's a legit fan. Let's get a Speed Flex Raiders helmet. We're going to bolt on some really cool items onto this piece, and we have nine brands going to yeah. be going on this helmet. This is the type of video if you are the kind of collector where you are not happy with what comes right out of the box. We're going to show you exactly how easy it is to make all these upgrades. Very nice job. It is from Merdell. It is it, absolutely the real deal. Yeah, you can blow up the pads, you can put it on your head, although you cannot play with them. Um, but you can do all this stuff you can do with the Speed Authentic, except now it's finally in the Speed Flex. People were asking for a long time, but you know, the timing had to be right. So we are gonna be removing the standard gray SF2BD face mask. And see, we're putting on a black mask. Not only a black mask, but one of my favorite players. Yes, we're putting on Von Miller's original custom mask. This is one that we don't currently have any in stock for sale. This we pulled off of our reject shelf. It's not something that we can get back out on the field and certify and all that. So we're like, you know what? Let's just put it on this guy. Yeah, and this is a quite a upgrade for Steve. So. I hope he can appreciate what's going into this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a this is super, <laughs> we, we call this a super custom. This is a super this, custom this style. You don't see them too many places. But say you, you know, say you just want to pick up, let's use the new Jets helmet, for example, and you, you see the Speed Flex, and then you're curious, you want to you wanna upgrade, you want to do all this, you know, poke around our website because you can type in up top, there's a nice search bar. So if you type in Speed Flex face mask, it'll show you all the face masks that will fit on these helmets. Um, you can look at all the chin straps. We try to make it easy for you, but we're open to suggestions if you're having a hard time finding how to accessorize. Um, in addition to the mask here, Steve, we've got a Shock 1.0 visor. This one is in chrome mirror, which I think is probably the best look for this mm -hmm. helmet. And we've got white Under Armour clips here. These are unbranded. Um, and we're kind of going to go with the white and black theme all around on this guy. We got our, this is an unbranded shut uh, Elite Hard Cup. We're going to get rid of these standard snaps, buckles that come with the chin strap. Nothing against shuts, buckles. But we are taking this opportunity to teach people because a couple people have asked, Jay, they see the Douglas easy pro snaps the buckles that we love so much and they want to know can they get used in addition to the sports star adapter so we got a little bonus feature yeah. here steve we're going to show people just how easy it is to upgrade the sports star adapter and all you got to do is take off the current snap the douglas snaps i'm going to try and show you a the difference here you can see how they're a good bit thicker and just screw it in so we're going to remove this guy here we're actually going to continue to use the strap locks yes and while you're doing that, Jay, I think it's interesting to point out the Raiders decals. You see how low they are. You know, when we got the helmets in, we're like, oh, those decals look a little bit low. But then when we went back and we kind of compared it to the photos, no, that's where they wear them. They wear them the lowest of any team, I think, in the NFL. They're just about touching the ear holes, which to me is really low, but these are correct. That's how, that's how they wear it. So we're using our 
Riddell quick release tool to undo the inner thumb screws here. And then this whole guy just pops out. If you are constantly changing things on your helmets all the time and you have a, a Riddell helmet, this is a must have. Equipment managers all over, that's what they're using. So let's get this guy in here. This is not where you're gonna want this chin strap. You're gonna to wanna to adjust this. So when you do, just unscrew this and slide this back, cut it wherever you want. And once you get it to fit right, and then just leave it. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. We are a fan. I forgot how easy it was. Hey, it's been almost two weeks, Jay, that you've been have, behind that desk. I have desk. not touched one of these. Sometimes, sometimes you forget. All right, Steve, so we're going with an embossed tech US flag which as anybody who's a fan of the show knows, that's our favorite flag material. We're going with the Chrome NFL Shield. Face mask on here. I find it interesting that in this case, it works out the best, but the new helmets have the black uh, grommets there for the quick release. They got black grommets, Steve, and they've got black draw pads. Nice, it looks like, uh, if you precision didn't know any fit. better, it looks like a precision fit. And there we have it. Not bad, not bad. Steve, should I put it on? Uh, yeah, yeah, is, you have to. This is a nice one, we got a couple. My fingerprints on here, Steve, I do my best to avoid it, but you know, let's see how this guy looks here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not worth adjusting the chin strap. Steve can do that, but th these, I'm happy to speed flex collectibles are here. Now you can get your hands on one of these. We've had people asking about them for quite some time now, a couple of years. Say, hey, when, when can we get those? Our answer was always, they're not available. Riddell's not making them. Well, we are so glad that they are. There's really only one downside, Steve. What's that? The price. Yeah, they're a little hefty. Yes, yeah, so what are we selling these things for? $5.99. $5.99, and that's before all of the upgrades. You're bolting on a face mask, a $50, $60 visor, a $20, $25 chin strap, some $12, $15 buckles, boom, 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 boom. Yep. So all in, we're approaching 800 something. Yeah, for this set $800 for something like this. What do you think is the price to pay? Right now, we probably got, I'm gonna we say, got like 20 25. teams, 2025, 20, somewhere yeah. in there. So check out our website, see if they've got the one that you want. Uh, and if, you know, $600 is too much for you for a helmet, we've got the Speed Authentics, we've got the Speed Replicas, we've got mini helmets, we've got all of them. Yeah, from 30 bucks up. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you wanna see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.